session there, uh, the camera is <coughs> and the guy in front who is Yeah, yeah, We'll see. Mm, yes. Could be a nice video, but I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> it will be shaky. Shaky slides? <laughs> It's, 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 it's more like earthquake because he's uh, like yeah. okay. 300 it's, pounds. It's, in a <laughs> <laughs> it's something weird. Interesting. Uh, welcome to the session, the last session of the, today, the last session of the Fifth Japan Vienna. Uh, I'm telling you a little bit about my experience with Panopoli. Um, who of you knows Panopoli? Just make sure. Heard of? Okay. Uh, very few words uh, about myself. I'm Matthias, I'm a you know, one in Google shop in, in Switzerland. Uh, creating basically websites for uh, companies. Um, I also do some uh, copywriting from time to time. And uh, maybe part you know who is I'm not a developer. I'm a marketing slash uh, printing production background. Um, this session is about site building, pure site building. And about how my, the way I created a website changed over time. So basically in the last 12 months, uh, I started using Monopoly two years ago and changed the way I work creating websites maybe one year ago. Most of our customers, uh, just to show you what the environment is, what I'm, what I'm working in, a lot of customers are using Panda 3, which is very common in the, the German speaking part of Europe. Uh, you might know the others, workers of course, uh, Jingo, Magento, also do lots of commerce projects and uh, using Panopoli as a base distribution uh, in the meantime. And other uh, tools customers are using and I'm selling or pitching against uh, quite successfully in, in the last few years. Um, looking back, four years ago, when I started creating a, a website, when I started my, my doing book shop, uh, this was the, the first step I made. Installing Drupal, Vanilla Drupal, and configuring it, uh, adds modules, uh, things like that, and created a website, and then when one website was uh, finished, I created another one, the, the way uh, you see here. Also, I knew that uh, there are much better solutions out there. I went to, to Drupal Cons starting in 2011, I think. This one in Chicago, the one to Drupal Camps. And I uh, saw this presentation about features, about the panels, about the, all, all this stuff. And I thought, ooh, mm, well, sounds interesting to do. Ah, I don't have time, I've got to do it, it's still going to be all the way 
And then in uh, Tropicon, Tropicon um, Chicago, was it? I saw the panoply, the presentation. So now oh, this is another institution. Not that. I will, I will look at it some, someday. So all the functions, uh, panels, features, and context look like quite complicated to me, which they are also. So we might be familiar with that to hesitate strongly uh, uh, with starting a new, uh, new tool. And this was the situation I was in uh, two years ago. Oh, there's something missing. You might know. Oh. This is about <laughs> this is about Google distribution. Anybody know what the dis distribution is? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically I thought if I, I say to customers I say you can have Drupal in different flavors. Um, you might know the one of the most successful or oldest distribution, Atrium, which was open Atrium before. Um, I use Thomas Kickstart uh, for demonstrating things. I currently use a very interesting uh, distribution called Albino. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's from, from the, the French part of Switzerland, uh, which we have a demo for, for a big, big uh, a customer next Wednesday. Um, and it's also it reminds me to an author in some way. But this is not the topic yet. You know, there are distribution, group can, can come in different flavors. The thing with uh, distributions is I like to sell group projects using distributions. Set it up, change a few, change the logo, change a few settings, and uh, then you're in a very strong position against type of free and WordPress. But distributions are quite heavy customized. I had a discussion with uh, the premium guys last evening. They also have the same experience with the distribution they used. And the nightmare to do. I also do a lot of cleaning. So what I ended up with was creating uh, websites over and over and over again. And slightly similar, and slightly different. So this is no, no satisfying business case when you're creating websites. <coughs> Your workload is too high uh, compared to what you can charge for the, for the projects. The, um, the promise uh, Panopoly gives is start building your website from 10th floor. And as soon as I uh, was diving into Panopoly, I, I saw that this is, this is true. This is not uh, exaggerated. And so, after this introduction, we go to the Panoply distribution itself. Any question up to this point? Distributions and Panoply. Panoply is panels magic for the masses. I always hesitated to use panels because, eh, oh, it's good. And, ah, but, ah, but now it's complicated. And sometimes it is. Also, Cobras, who told me yesterday, <laughs> didn't know that. And um, Panopoly puts um, an additional kind of layer, not in a technical way, but an additional kind of layer which simplifies the use of panels and uh, lowers the barrier for uh, digging into panels. It's very important for me, always hesitating about the panels thing. Um, this is the main point. Uh, uh, I'm happy to, to, to use Panopoly. There are lots of other points. I have responsive layouts out of the box. I don't create layouts anymore. I have them. Maybe 10 or 50 layouts which I use on a daily basis. Um, a very important point is also we've got stable country modules. Each of you might remember or might have been searching for um, um, image cropping module. I spent evenings with that. There are 10 solutions, um, you try it out, uh, you're wasting your time. And um, Panopoly helps me to use stable modules, which are proven and uh, uh, can be used to work with. 
Another issue is also, I don't use the media anymore, but you have a, a quite a compatible uh, version of the media uh, model in Monopoly. It's sometimes it's, it's even adapted. It's not the same like code base as the uh, current release of media because it's sometimes they, they change a few things, but it works. It basically works. The compatible version of uh, modules. Yes, I have the new elements. I use uh, maps a lot for, for my customer. This is out of the box available in Monopoly. Uh, you have improvements for site editors. Um, the site editor, uh, writer, um, whatever experience is uh, much better than in Drupal in the knowledge of the yeah, For example, you can see this uh, and preview section um, which shows how the article or the panel in this case it just plays for a look Another thing is that a lot of things are pre-configured. During my first uh, two or three years as a uh, having my own little job, I did things over and over again. One thing was uh, to define roles and uh, access rights, and, and how are we going to change that? And, uh, but if you do that once a month, you always forget, or at least I always forget what particular things can be uh, changed. This is a pre-configured editor role, which makes life easier uh, for, for uh, site building. Evil types, pre-configured, not that important, uh, but sometimes it is. Um, one other issue is that in the issue queue there are lots of uh, uh, improvements. That, a part of the issue queue is box, and we know it. Other issues are like, uh, could you change the setting uh, of this uh, specific function in order to work differently? I, I have that a lot of, 10 or 20 times, uh, I don't know. Um, Changing the link it's setting that in order to make a link scope external. This is uh, on the basic uh, link model, it's uh, internally or it's, it's not available as a per parameter. And this has been changed in uh, maybe one year ago that you don't have to change it anymore. And this is a, just a little improvement, but we have tons of improvement like that which make life easier. <coughs> You have common scenarios. Um, in the early days, I, for example, search. I put the site online and then, oh, we have search. Oh, we have to go and then over. within two or three uh, hours, you create the search. Um, and then you learn that uh, there are search scenarios which are uh, always the same across uh, different projects. This is also where Panopoly paved me kind of a way how to see it could be done. I knew it could be done, but uh, Monopoly took me, took me by a hand, so to speak, and uh, changed the way I, I, I work in uh, towards more user scenarios. I this is not big news anymore in times where Google 8 is out, but it's Google 7 and it's responsive back end. Then you have app support, which I didn't use so far. These apps are quite simple, but uh, the goal is to uh, create my own apps someday, maybe with the people like that. Does anyone know what apps are? Yeah, they all contribute. Yeah. Apps, the definition of apps is, is uh, app solves a problem, a, a, a quite a tiny, specific problem, and it solves it completely. This is the definition of apps, really, which I, uh, I like. It's, it's not an extension of some function, but it solves a problem, a specific problem completely. Like a news, uh, news channel and stuff like that. It's not, has been, not a lot of changes have been done into apps uh, in the past uh, month. This were some functions of uh, Monopoly some uh, advantages it 
uh, you will see that uh, sample. But for me, it, it, this was, uh, was just the beginning. Um, and I want to show you some examples how uh, I started to change working, uh, to start to work differently, uh, maybe one year ago. And I realized that um, websites can be created in a much easier way. So basically, I'm not really forcing to quit my comfort zones for, for uh, more than one in terms of cleaning, in terms of site building, things like that. First thing I learned is that um, features is not that hard. Features is a way uh, how you can store any configuration in Google. The, the classic example is if you create a, a, a photo gallery <coughs> and want to re reuse it in other projects, uh, create a feature. Store that photo gallery as a feature, and then you have a, a module which you load and, and uh, uh, activate as a normal module. And Panopla encourages you to go quite uh, um, um, if you're <laughs> yeah, if you hesitate. Panopla supports you, thank you. Um, the other thing was I started to extend Panopoly. I had some, some like a commerce project, it's a workshop which is online now. This is the prototyping uh, screen job. I started extending uh, Panopoly with the commerce uh, uh, functions and learned, oh, you can write features, you can write features. Um, the the class checkout in, com in commerce, you don't have to do that over and over again create features without any coding and your, uh, have your specific uh, um, modules available for your use case. This is how it looks like. This is quite a, a new uh, screen job. Just, just a part of my uh, modules I load whenever I start a, uh, a new site. Not activating the logs, it's not commerce. Do not activate the comments. But uh, a, few, a few weeks ago, I created a, a tiny little shop for a non profit organization that would take a few hours just by activating this. Well, because of this, there's a theme, uh, change the colors, well, and uh, the store is ready now. But without paying that, to be honest. But this would have taken uh, days, even a year ago, to work at it. The, the way I work. What I also created are um, panel paints. I have dozens of panel paints, which I also uh, uh, often use. A home type word means call to action in English. At the bottom of, of the site, you always have to it when it comes to marketing oriented sites. Um, create a call to action, please call, please uh, subscribe to the newsletter, whatever. I created that and can reuse it now. I also have maybe 20 or even more predefined views. Uh, I started using them when I had to, to, to create maybe the 50th blog, which I will always start creating from scratch. And then I learned even views can be uh, saved as features. Which is slow to that mode and anyway the block is ready. Monopoly also changed the way I work with design. Uh, you might have heard about design patterns, <coughs> it's, it's a big uh, big issue right now uh, among web designers. I have a very basic design pattern. I, this is all stored by uh, variables. And whenever I set up a, a, a new site and a prototype, I just change the variables in, in the, the SAS setting file, and the entire site looks maybe 70% how it should be. 
terms of the proper design. I'm not um, uh, at the end of the, this develop, development data. It's also um, a way how Panopoli encouraged me to change the way I work. One of the most exciting things is um, that compared to uh, two years ago, I now can work on features, on functions, until they're ready. For example, search. I told you how I created search uh, a few years ago. Oh, don't, don't, don't say off day. It's not bad, but it's, it's good. Um, now I spend every month, maybe two or three days, uh, working on a specific topic. The last thing was to create a, a bulletproof, good, uh, solar-based, search with the uh, um, complete uh, functions, which is now a module for the, for the projects who will come in the future. And even when I improve something, uh, maybe another search feature, I add that as a model. And it's, it's available from, from now on. This is very different to uh, creating things from scratch. And so my 10th floor, uh, starting at the 10th floor, this was, uh, it was uh, what Panopoli is all about. My 10th floor looks like this. If you remember the vanilla Google uh, page, this is how I start my projects at installation. I mentioned that before I put the uh, experience. Um, which led to this customer code that was very happy. It's, it's quite a new one a few days ago. Um, in the project management uh, uh, software, the, the, the customer wrote this after we went live. I didn't ask him for a quote. This is the the result. He's really happy with the, with the editor's experience. And he's, he's no uh, thank you or something. Also speaking of sales, I'm not there yet, but I'm much more close to that than I was a year uh, ago. Uh, my sales pitch will go to, uh, I have a simple solution, but with the flexibility of Google. WordPress is quite, has become quite strong. Um, when I look at uh, my customers, uh, potential customers, um, I think the, the market share is some 20% or so. I often have to pitch it again against WordPress. And uh, it's a strong product, no doubt, but uh, Drupal is. Uh, <laughs> Is not that uh, the, it's not that fast when it comes to installation. And Panopoli helped me to to um, to improve that. And also speaking of uh, non technical issues, I learned how to make the move to the platform some some time in the future. Stop building websites as a uh, service and they pay for it for the hours. Start building um, solutions and probably the customer and say, I have a solution for you. I do that with, with the search right now. I have a, a cool search available which I can install for, for demo proposals and say, this is good for you. And charge it for, I don't know, every, for uh, 20 times I will use it next few months. I hope. And also here, I'm not there yet, but I'm, I think I'm on a very good way uh, with making the transition from uh, service provider to product provider and generating a regular uh, uh, money flow. There are issues with Monopoly. Uh, I have three of them, which I'm not that happy with. One is Panopoli is not multilingual by default. Uh, fieldable panel panes, which is a part of the panel universe, have issues when you use multilingual fields. 
and can be translation. I had to learn that on a, a hard way. As a workaround, the thesis is a create it, save it, reopen it, save it. You know that? <laughs> then it works. But uh, it's a rather poor experience. I do not use the panel paint quite often for maybe one landing pages, it's okay. But be aware, in multilingual projects, bingable panel paints um, needs a workaround. It has nothing to do with monopoly. It's also if you use it without monopoly. Uh, there's no CKE editor. I always disable the, the tiny MC and, and, and uh, enable the CK editor, but it breaks some dependencies. Around here. It's not, no problem in the, in the daily world. And uh, um, the display suite is not included in, in uh, Panopoly, but can be enabled, of course. But sometimes the concepts of, of uh, how to create new modes is, is not, it's a little bit different. It's not a technical problem, but I can deal with that. That's a long time display suite. User. Uh, Panopoly will be available for Google 8. Uh, development has started, and the good thing is a lot of features um, are already in Google Core. The entire Google Cloud Painting process has issued with Multilingual, will not be there anymore because of the improvements of the, of the block system. Um, this could also lead to a shorter uh, development time. I don't know, but the chances are that uh, development will be possible. Um, okay. There's an alpha available right now that you can download it. It just does nothing. Just uh, the, the modules are there. I was already made to the, to the developer last week and confirmed that uh, it's there, but the modules are not enabled or whatever. Didn't try it so far. Um, you can try Panopoly on uh, the Panther platform, and then is sponsoring the development as far as I know, um, or uh, Drupal Lord. Try it out, install it, and uh, start working on uh, websites. The last point is very off topic. What I also learned uh, is uh, to use another design uh, framework, which is called uh, Bourbon. I came to Bourbon because of this platform, which is a world class uh, library of. Um, Web snippets like uh, navigations or, or some kind of uh, spiders or whatever. If you say, oh, uh, probably looks, looks good, but maybe not, uh, go at least to Coding House if you're in the front end uh, business. Really uh, okay.
Responsibility for all sorts. And then, uh, and also we, for example, for A, it's fine when we need to move to the mm -hmm. uh, I think It's still Ruble. It's, it's uh, starting on, on the 10th floor, but with the compatibility, compatibility to all modules which work in Drupal. Essentially, what, what every client needs is to have a unique identity of the, the site, like uh, mm -hmm. colors, layout, and, and so on. So, uh, what do you use for uh, for a theming, like a base theme? Or I created my own one based on, on, on the Toy House library. The colors also work nicely for me. Yes, yes. <laughs> So you actually have your own system that is uh, that's using the CSS and yes, thing mostly. I also used uh, Stone Foundation a lot, mm -hmm. but um, the last version was quite heavy in terms of, of uh, sizes, unless you deactivate a lot of things and, and uh, issues with the compatibility uh, for all browsers. I still like it, although I don't know if uh, again, I think the new version is out. Yeah, but, uh, personally, I think that um, Foundation is a complex system for yeah. itself, and then uh, I, I tried to do some things with Panoply, and I, I experienced the problems with, um, uh, with making them play together nicely. So mm -hmm. sometimes uh, features from one system are fighting with the features from other system, okay. like features from foundation uh -huh. for uh, for their layout. Yeah. Uh, you have to fight their features to be Drupal to be uh, compatible. This is what I like about Urban because you start with nothing, mm -hmm. and you can say um, I think uh, foundation is. When you create a column, is column uh, on the line three small, column on the line four, whatever it is, the syntax. And in Burn, you can create your own. You can even yeah, take. Actually, you're talking about the Bourbon as a SAS library yeah, for a yeah. uh, system. And the difference is you can uh, use the Drupal classes <coughs> in Bourbon as a, as a brief definition. Because the burden uh, makes no assumptions. This is the big difference. Uh, have you, uh, have you ever tried? I mean, 
uh, in line with, with, the, with that first question we got about the performance, mm -hmm. um, I tried a few times to build something actually with, with Panoply and, and I like the things up, which are out of the box. I mean, everyone loves things that are out of the box. But uh, I also uh, have seen that they're rather heavy on, on, mod on models usage and the system as the system is rather heavy. Uh, for instance, having like uh, more than 150 modules that are connected, used, and, and, and mm -hmm. so on. And that, that of course, builds uh, 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 requirements for the server, and that brings the performance down. So uh, if, if the server can survive 50 users, uh, 50,000 users is, is completely different league. So mm -hmm. uh, what, what type of the server setup are you using with with uh, Panoply sites? Uh, I have this own partner, which is called Nine in Zurich. It's a virtual group or whatever server. I don't know. I'm not that, that deep in server. It's, it's pretty powerful server, much more powerful than the classic hosting. Mm -hmm. yeah, actually, you're, uh, they're building the VPS machines for yeah. you and that yeah, machine. Yeah. 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 They're also specialized, they're they all do them pretty well. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I have now even at the last search available and all those. They do, do not uh, assert that the small clients anymore is about it, just uh, agencies and the big clients. When, when you said uh, uh, the thing about um, mm, uh, that you're thinking about uh, switching from uh, from s small things to, to platform, uh, uh, have you maybe evaluated the the Agir, uh, the platform? Mm -hmm. you, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, at Agir enables you to to um, publish, maintain server and uh, sites mm -hmm. uh, which are built upon, and it supports the the Panoply as as an important distribution. So, have you been maybe <coughs> considering that? Option. I have to consider that. I look at all the platforms, Sakura, Pantheon, and here, uh, there's one Prachi in, in, in uh, Germany, it's quite simple, but I decided to stick with mine for, because it's, it works. But um, maybe I change it as a teacher. Maybe you like me, you check out that part. Well, actually, I have my own idea of instance that yeah, I'm... Like mm -hmm. Okay. Agio requires, this part me, requires some basic understanding about service. Uh, more than basic. Um, and, or more than basic. Oh. And as, as a one mail shop... But, but actually, uh, but, but the truth is, with, with Agir, um, uh, someone has to set it up. It's not too complicated, mm -hmm. but it's not uh, it's not for for everyone. I mean, uh, it is easy when you have the knowledge. Then it's like uh, configure a few things, so let it go. Mm -hmm. But after you put up uh, a server, then it's actually uh, very easy to maintain uh, because uh, Agir is something that uh, self heals, self builds, and self check everything. So th that, that, I, that is where it, where it stands, uh, um, where it becomes interesting for, uh, for the middle shops like, like yourself. So someone sets you up and then you just uh, you use Drupal site uh, that is controlling your Drupal sites okay. for the clients. Yeah. And it is pretty much optimized uh, with, uh, with the Redis, with uh, Solar Search. With so, so you get all of these features out of the uh -huh. box, and and it's 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 interesting, but still setting it up and probably solving some problems. Uh -huh. I, I I personally am I'm running it for two years and I did not have any problem, but even if I do have the problem, I wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not relevant in, in that uh, that sense because I, I know how to build make. Uh -huh. so. But it, but it, it's interesting because. I, I tried to, to work with Panoply and <coughs> that's why I wanted to, to hear uh, first hand uh, how are you handling all, all those problems. And the, the goal is in the long term to, to have a complete external and tell this guy 
I don't mind when you say you are a whatever. But this is a business decision of, of for me. Separate, separate, separate no, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, just the. But the it's good. Could you hear that? Uh, I, I meant. Uh, I, I wanted to hear your model of uh, 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 handling, uh, uh, because Panopoli is uh, demanding resources. Yeah. It's not for the for the small shared costing uh, yeah. for five euros. Mm -hmm. That that doesn't work mm -hmm. with Panopoli. And that, that's why I, I just wanted to hear how you're mm -hmm. dealing with the complexity and it's, it's heavy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just talked to some people about Panoply and some mentioned the multilingual issues you mm -hmm. mentioned. And others said uh, there are some problems they had with revisions. Did you ever uh, have worked with revisions at the time? And no, but uh, it was mentioned in the initiative, yes. Because I need it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I need it. Why did I follow it? I will. I think uh, this is what we need to do. There was an issue with revisions, I don't know, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the security guys didn't. But I can't give you any details. Or maybe. But, but basically, want to say that uh, building sites on Panopoly with uh, with like so just site building is is a viable business model for you. Yes, that, that's the. And also, I just the, the barrier for thinking forward how to to make money in ten years from now. Any questions? Yes. Yep. Uh, you, you said you have been to talk with you in a couple of hours. Uh -huh. um, I'm in the membership uh, side. Uh -huh. uh, do you think uh, I can do it also without a um, lot of coding? I actually did. Um, without features, I would, would do it differently now. But uh, yes, we will have a relaunch. And this is one of my products. Ideas, by the way, because I have specific customers interested in that seven languages, and this will be based on monopoly. Yeah, those.